In this video I will show you some of the commands here in the mechanical catalog. But first I will insert an assembly. It's a flow jack. I'll put it here on the tubes like so. And this flow jack is not finished. I have to secure the axle for the lifting arm with a couple of Seeger rings. Also mount the saddle on the U-flange and also mount the front wheels with an axle. So first of all I will mount a Seeger ring on this axle. So I will drag a Seeger, drop it here on the edge and you are presented with this dialog. And here you can choose what kind of uh, standards you want to use. And also there are three kinds of rings you can use as a Seeger ring. And also for the holes there are three kinds of rings. So I will use this one, the first one. And I will move the, the ring a bit like so and I will also update. When I update it will create a groove for the, for the ring. Then we have hollow mode. Now it's active. If I click only hollow, the ring turns into red. That means that uh, the ring is not active. If I click OK, I will have the groove but not the ring. So I will click active for the ring. So I will update and I will create the ring and also the groove. I will move the ring a bit. Distance from the side plate will be 0.5 millimeters. I'll click OK. Then I will also have a ring on, on the other side. I'll drag a ring, drop it here on the edge. And I will move that ring a bit. 0.5 millimeters from the side plate. And I have also have to change the orientation. Like so I click OK. Now they are in place. Then I will go here to the U flange. I want to mount a saddle. So I go to my flow jack catalog, drop a saddle here in the center. And this saddle has already a hole in it. But uh, I will um, use a uh, fastener's assembly. I will press the shift key and drop the fastener's assembly here in the edge to center it over the hole and it will, I will have that bolt and with no washer. I will update and uh, it is mounted now but I also will click this button to get the right distance the thickness of the saddle and of the U-flange then I can update it will fit perfectly here with the washer and the nut so uh, I click OK Then I will mount the front wheels. I need an axle for that. So I go to my catalog. I will drag a, an axle for the front wheels. I drop here in the center of the hole. And I need more material through the hole. So I will use a boss thread to do that. We have two boss threads. First I will try this one. I drop it here in the center of the axle. But uh, in this type of boss thread there is no option to add more material, just the, the threads and the run out. So I will use the other one, drop it here in the center. Here I have the option to add more material, we have cylinder. And uh, all these settings are alright for me. I will have a diameter of 12 mm for the threads, that means M12, length 24, and the run out and the cylinder to add more material will be 12 millimeters because the hole is 12 millimeters and then the length is 15 and I will also add a chamfer I will update it will look like this and that's okay and I will also add it on the other side here drop a boss thread in the center and I will also add a chamfer and I will click OK so then I will um, mount the front wheel. I go to my flow jack catalog. I will drag and drop a front wheel here in the center of the axle. And I will move the, the front wheel to the side plate. Then I will mount a washer and a nut. 
I go to mechanical catalog and add a wa fasteners drop it here on the edge a washer that one and I will be 12 millimeters and will update move the washer to the bushing here I also to have to change the orientation of the washer then I click OK I will add a, a nut drop it here on the edge choose nut and I will choose that one I will choose M12 and I will update and also to change the direction of the nut I will go to reverse and put it at the bottom toward the washer like so and then I click OK now I can copy these parts the the nut the washer and the front wheel and I will link it to the other side I use the tri ball move the tri ball in between these two parts link it and now the uh, float jack is uh, it's ready to be used.